it was the same for me. You know, I obviously, my name is Emily. I get referenced Emily in Paris sure. pretty much on the daily. So for me, it was a way of kind of combating a stereotype. You know, obviously a lot of people are probably going to compare this to Emily in Paris. I mean, what do you think about those comparisons and what are some misconceptions that you want to clear up about being an American in Paris? Um, I guess I'll take it away. Um, I think the funniest thing is we do have an Emily in Paris. So yes, I know. <laughs> I, it, it has to be said, yes, we do have one um, in our little girl group. But I think that some of the ideas that people have about Americans in Europe or Paris specifically is that we're loud and we're kind of like out there and we're very, I guess, just we're just so much louder than Europeans. And I think that people have like secondhand cringe or embarrassment about that. But at least in our show, most of us are pretty established like within Paris. So we've like kind of gotten the vibe and there's less culture shock. Mm -hmm. um, so while I might be loud at home, I do try not to yell in the street. First of all, I do not have a hot neighbor living downstairs. <laughs> First and foremost, yet. yet, who knows? But um, I think the biggest misconception is just the fact that, you know, Emily comes here and things just fall into her lap and you know it's very cliche in the sense of romance or like business that she like excelled in business and in her position and you know there are moments like that but there are so much more in-depth like little micro occurrences that happen here as an american a young american living in paris you know visa issues that you that you see you know getting robbed, getting robbed <laughs> you know falling in the metro stepping on dog doo-doo in the metro you know <laughs> little things that you kind of don't see and i just feel like it's time that the world sees what the real emily in paris is actually like i think that emily in paris is obviously you know a little bit more romantic well a lot more romanticized than what paris is really like mm -hmm. um so i think you'll you'll see a realer aspect of that there'll be comparisons but i think well, I hope that we'll be able to, you guys will be able to see truly what Paris is through my eyes, through Vic's eyes, through Audrey's eyes, through Audrey's eyes, whoever. But it's different through all of our eyes, but it's going to be a lot realer and a realistic view of Paris, where Emily in Paris is, is you know, very romanticized. Yeah. And also, like, the most... And yeah. scripted. And scripted, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anya, what was it like opening up about your relationship on camera as well? Um, more difficult for my fiance because yeah. he's such a private person. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, again, I think I'm very proud of the life that I've created for myself. And again, yeah, I, I found an extraordinarily smart, handsome, well-dressed French man from Normandy who can make me eggs. <laughs> um, but there's actually more to that. There are, there are real uh, struggles. There are real things that we together as a couple have to overcome. It's not just French paperwork. It could be financial. It could be we want to have our wedding. It could be planning our lives together, future. And I think it's important to actually show the real side of that. And I know many people will say, oh, this is so fake or staged, but they're actually, I felt very good about showing people the authentic me and the authentic us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, it's, it's, it's quite quick to be People quickly judge, especially based on appearance. Oh, you're in Paris, you're well-dressed, you're privileged, you're spoiled, you're this and that. And I like to actually defy, just like Emily is defying her Emily in Paris stereotype. It's like, no, no, I come from absolutely nothing. I built my own business. I can fight with my girlfriends. I can argue with my fiance. Um, but at the end of the day, that's what makes, I think, our lives interesting, is that people will be able to identify with different parts of them. Definitely. How are wedding plans going? They're on hold. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have to stay tuned for that one, for sure. Okay. Uh, Victoria, was there anything, obviously we see you open up about um, relationships and things like that, but was there anything in particular that was very difficult for you to open up about this season? You know, I think that I went into this, you know, it's my first time, you know, ever doing anything like this. And I knew that when I signed up, I was just going to be a complete open book. I have an emotional journey throughout the entire season. I decided to be open about my love life, my family, you know, the ups and downs of my career. And like, you know, just really I decided to just be a hundred percent open book. You know, I'm welcoming you guys into my life. So I don't think there is one thing that was harder than the other. You know, I think that opening up um, to the girls, that was, you know, but after the matter, everyone being so supportive, that really felt amazing. 
But I wouldn't really say there's one thing that was harder than the other. It, I, I think that, and as everyone will see, that I had a, I had a lot of hard moments this season. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you do, you come out to the girls, but at, at that point you weren't out to your parents, correct? I mean, no. uh, what's been their reaction um, since then? Um, I guess you're gonna have to wait and find wait, out wait. because you know, there are parts that are shown on um, the show and mm -hmm. um, the other parent, there's, a, there's also a reason why um, that probably won't even happen. <laughs> what's been dating in Paris like for you? <laughs> Before that, it was fine. Um, <laughs> I think someone was just a little, a little shy. Um, <laughs> no, I, I've always had better luck dating in the state and the in France than in the states because I don't know. There's just so much. There's so much like history and baggage that everyone has. Whereas in Paris, like a lot of people are also, you know, from the outer parts of France, coming to Paris for a fresh start. So you find a lot of people in the same dating mentality in Paris than back in LA because people in LA are like in, you know, orchestrated relationships and it's like in France, it's like, nope, you're cute. So we're going to talk, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's good. Yeah. Most yeah. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> You know, obviously when you have a, a, a tight friendship group, there's always going to be some drama. So are is there some drama that kind of goes down between the girls this season? Can you tease any of that? I think to piggyback off what Casey said is we're a family and sisters fight. So stay tuned to see what about. But for the most part, I think like we're really supportive of each other. We back each other up. Like it's all, it's all fun, you know, yeah. like we're, young, we're hot, we're in Paris, like what's not to love? <laughs> what's not to love?